a 16 ohm wire is bent to form a square loop okay kuch aisa ho jayega ye total tha 16 ohm so this is going to be 4 ohm 4 ohm 4 ohm and this is also 4 ohm a 9 volt battery with internal resistance 1 ohm is connected across one of its sides तो इसके अक्रॉस क्या है नाइन वोल्ट है बैटरी का ओके okay, और इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस है इसका वन ओम ओके ऐसा कुछ हो गया सिस्टम इफ अ फोर माइक्रोफेरेड इज कनेक्टेड अक्रॉस वन ऑफ इट्स डायगोनल्स सो दिस इज लाइक दिस एंड दिस इज फोर माइक्रोफेरेड्स The energy stored in the capacitor will be x by two mu joule. Okay, यहाँ पे देखिए ध्यान से. It is asked that the energy stored in the capacitor. So basically, what is the energy stored in the capacitor? Um, uh, time के साथ जो है, you know, according varying varying with the time, the energy stored is different. Okay, but here time is not mentioned, so therefore we are going to take t is equal to at T is equal to infinity. Okay, so at t equals infinity, what happens is that uh, the current through the capacitor becomes zero. So this is the this is the uh, uh, current uh, graph against time. So therefore, the current against uh, like uh, in the capacitor it becomes zero. So therefore, it acts as if it is an open circuit. Okay, it acts as if it is an open circuit. Now, what we have to understand here is that uh, okay. So now, if you see, if it is open, so therefore this, all these three, they become in series. Okay, because now the current will be going, and the current will be dividing like this. Okay, so the circuit reduces like this. It's twelve ohms. then it's 4 ohms and here it's no here the battery is there so therefore 12 into 4 divided by 12 plus 4 which is 16 so 4 as 4 gone so this is 3 so therefore 3 ohm uh 3 ohm is the total resistance here now 3 ohm and this is 1 ohm so therefore 4 ohm so therefore the current is 9 by 4 ampere now 9 by 4 ampere current will be redistributing in such a way that the potential difference is going to be the same so therefore if it is i1 and it is i2 we can clearly see i2 should be i2 into 4 should be equal to i1 into 12 because both of them are in parallel so therefore i2 is equal to 3 i1 okay <coughs> and i2 plus i1 is equal to 9 by 4 ampere i1 plus i2 is equal to 9 by 4 ampere so therefore we can write that uh, I one plus I two. I two is three I one is equal to nine by four ampere. So therefore, I one is going to be nine by sixteen ampere. Okay. So nine by sixteen ampere is going to flow. You know, in these uh, resistances. Now, if you see the potential difference across this four microfarad. capacitance is going to be the same potential difference you know like uh, the potential the total potential difference across 8 ohms so therefore v is going to be equal to 9 by 16 into 8 which is 9 by 2 volts this is going to be the potential difference so therefore the energy stored is going to be half cv square so half into 4 microfarads into v square So eighty one by four volt square. It's gone, gone. So it's like uh, 
वन बाय टू इन टू एटी वन दिस इज माइक्रो जूल सो देर फोर वी कैन सी हियर एक्स इज गोइंग टू बी 